Hi guys, it's Marie here, welcome back! If you are new here, my name is Maria Khoreva and I am a ballerina, a first soloist with the Mariinsky Ballet and I love making fitness and ballet related videos. So today I am joined by my favorite person on the planet, my sister Sofia and yeah, so excited to have you here for this more of a fun video, <laughs> but we are actually terrified a little bit. <laughs> Uh, as you have probably seen from the title of this video, it's going to be a 10-minute plank challenge and we've never done it ourselves before. It's going to be our first attempt at this and we're a little bit scared, but I think we can manage it. And so it's not as scary as it sounds actually, because we're going to change the plank position every minute. So we're doing the straight arms plank, the forearms plank, the plank on the left side, plank on the right side, and then supine plank. And then repeating all of these five planks once again without any breaks, so for one minute each. And you guys are so welcome to join us today and we encourage us to join us. Let's see what we can come up with, if we can cope with this challenge. And I think it's going to be fun. I love planks. And in my video, a few videos ago, I made uh, the whole workout based on the holding positions and not repetitions, but just the holds. And I think it's very nice for stability and for stamina. So yeah, let's do this challenge. Let's see if we can make it. And let's start in 20 seconds. I have my timer here. So we are starting on the straight arms plank. In all of these planks exercises, it's very important to hold the line, the straight line line from shoulders to your ankles and the arms are directly underneath the shoulders and don't hyperextend your elbows so we are going to start just holding the straight arms plank for a minute so a little bend in your elbows a straight line holding your abs and your back and basically your whole body so <laughs> I think we're going to discuss a lot of topics today because we're just for 10 minutes holding the positions. So do you guys like to listen to the music when you're working out? What's your workout playlist? Let me know in the comments, please. It'll be so interesting to see what you guys like to do while you are coping with the burn. Okay, so actually 15 seconds only left in this plank and we're transitioning into a forearms plank in a traditional plank position in five, almost five seconds. Okay, and let's transition. On your forearms, look directly in front of you. Your palms in front of your elbows and straight line again. In this plank, what actually helps me to hold it nicely and really a stable position is I try engaging my butt muscles and my back muscles and it makes this plank really solid, in my opinion. So halfway done with this plank, the next one is going to be on the left elbow, so the side plank. So just keep holding, then we are going to make a very quick transition to the left side. How are you doing, Sonia? I'm trying to breathe normally. Yeah, yeah, it's Don't very important to, to breathe, breathe, guys. Yeah. <sighs> Shaking a little bit. You're oh, right. it's going to be fun. It's going <laughs> to be not so fun. at all. <laughs> okay, so just transition now. Stack your feet. And it's so nice for the obliques. So look in front of yourself and just think about something very nice. Oh, I have a nice view here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very nice view, a breathe of fresh air, and all of the troubles go away. So shoulders down, try not to sink into your left shoulder here, and yeah, just enjoy. I think it's a very nice morning challenge. If you accomplish this in the morning, you feel like you're invincible the whole day, throughout the whole day. So, okay, so just around 10 seconds left in this position, and then we're transitioning to the other side, doing this exactly the same position on the right elbow. So three, two, one, and let's quickly change the sides. And what a beautiful river. All right. 
Ah, uh, you had this view? Yeah. Already. So the next plank, guys, is a supine plank, one of my favorites. We are going to transition to our back and on straight arms, which are going to be underneath our shoulders again, we are going to hold our pelvis up. Yeah, I guess the wind uh, adds an extra challenge here. <laughs> it takes some balance, you guys. Yeah. Okay, and let's quickly transition and just keep your neck in a neutral position, elbows a little bit bent and your hips just towards the sky. Talking about wind, in school we often open our windows because it's very hot in our studio sometimes and our teacher always says you're not going to be blown away, are you? <laughs> oh. If you stay stand near to the window at the yeah. bar and you're doing your pirouette or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think that at Mariinsky Studios we have the windows. Um, they are high up underneath the ceiling, so we have no chance of being blown away by the wind from the pirouette. Okay, so straight arms plank again, repeating the second round. So nice to work out outside, so much more oxygen. But we only get these chances during the summer, during the warm, warmer months. And where we live, it's such a rare occasion to get such nice weather. In St. Petersburg, during the winter, it's already a workout to go out. Like yeah, <laughs> it's so cold, and you're like shaking. Yeah. So, what's the weather like during the summer and during the whole year? where you guys live, let us know. Okay, so transition into a forearms plank. My arms are really shaking right now, to be honest. My abs are shaking. Yeah. It's if becoming it, kind of hard. <laughs> yeah. So if you are shaking, means you're getting stronger, right guys? So let's keep pushing together. Let's just stay calm in mind off of the fact that it's very hard to stay in this position. And let's just talk about something else. Let's just go to our happy place. You can mute us if we are annoying with our rumbling. Just keep standing, keep standing with us. Engage your butt muscles, engage your back, backs and obliques and abs. And the most important thing, keep breathing. We're transitioning to a side plank in three, two, one, and go. Okay. Deep breaths. My left shoulder is screaming mm -hmm. silently. Almost halfway done with this, guys, with this interval. What do you think? Is it more helpful to get your like pelvis and butt higher than lower? What do you think? The higher the better or not? Let's transition to the right side. And well, Sonia, I think it's important to hold it in a straight line. Yeah. 
Yeah, but when you don't have a mirror. Well, just try. <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't know actually. I think the straight line, the more, the closer you get to a straight line position, the better. So just ask someone to check your form, maybe. Can you? <laughs> well, I think. Form is nice. I think your form is kind of nice too. It's not about the height. I think it's about the quality. I think it's about how solid you are in a plank. Yeah, I agree. That you have the shoulders down, your long neck, and everything is engaged. So we actually have one last interval left, guys. Only the supine plank. Okay, and let's go. Just don't sink in. It's the last interval. I thought... Long, actually. Hmm? It's not that long. Actually. Yeah, it's not that long. I thought it would be so much harder to do this challenge. So maybe... Don't next... <laughs> don't Are we going to repeat this last one? I don't know. Maybe next time we could do like 20 minutes plank challenge or something. Okay, so 10 seconds left, guys. Just hold it till the end. And we are done, guys. So congratulations, you've just done the 10 minute plank. I think it was fun. I think it was very useful. And yeah, let us know how you felt. And let us know if you completed the challenge. Tag us on Instagram. Uh, message me, message us. Uh, let's talk in the comments. And yeah, I love you guys very, very much. We love you. And we will see you in the next videos. Bye.